This tutorial shows the step-by-step -step instructions for this lesson in the Omega Learning Guide. To begin, open Corel Draw. Select a new or saved project, then click Tools Color Management. The Corel Color Management window will open. Apply your custom Monaco EZ color files or whatever profiles you have set up in Omega for each of the available options. If you are not sure about your color management settings, you can select the Gerber default options. Click the arrows to select the path from one device to another. Click the plus icon to save your custom settings, and click OK to return to the work surface. Insert the Omega CD into your disk drive. If it does not launch automatically, select it from My Computer. When the install screen opens, click on Browse CD Contents. Navigate to Omega Extras, Program Files, GSP, Software. Right-click the folder Corel Draw Palettes and select Copy. Paste the folder on your main hard drive with your other Corel Draw Palette files. If you do not know where your other Corel Draw Palette files are located, it is recommended that you paste the palette files in the GSP folder on your main hard drive. Open Corel Draw. Right click the palette icon above any of the open palettes and select Palette Open. Navigate to the folder where you place the Omega Corel Draw palettes, then select the palette you want to open. Click Open to have the Omega palette displayed next to the existing palette. You can open more than one Gerber palette by repeating the same steps. Open Adobe Illustrator and select a new or saved project. Click Edit Color Settings to open the Color Settings dialog box. Select Custom in the Settings menu and check Advanced Mode. Set the RGB workspace to GSP Internal Working Color Space. Set the CMYK Working Space to Gerber GSP CMYK. In Color Management Policies, select Preserve Embedded Profiles for both RBG and CMYK. Check both boxes for profile mismatches. Click Save to save your custom settings and click OK to return to the work surface. Click View, Proof Setup, then choose Custom. In Profile, you can choose from a list of Gerber profiles. If you choose a Gerber RGB profile, be sure to turn on Preserve Color Numbers for better results. Go back to the View menu and turn on Proof Colors to see the job as it'll appear on the device. Insert the Omega CD into your disk drive. If it does not launch automatically, select it from My Computer. When the Install screen opens, click on Browse CD Contents. Navigate to Omega Extras, Program Files, GSP, Software. Right-click the folder Adobe Illustrator Palettes and select Copy. Paste the folder on your main hard drive with your other Adobe Illustrator palette files. If you do not know where your other Adobe palette files are located, it is recommended that you paste the palette files in the GSP folder on your main hard drive. Open Adobe Illustrator. Click Window, Swatch Libraries, Other Library. Navigate to the folder where you place the Omega Adobe Illustrator palettes, then select the palette you want to open. Click Open to have the Omega palette displayed on the Adobe work surface. You can open more than one Gerber palette by repeating the same steps. This concludes this lesson. Be sure to check if there are any exercises or tip videos associated with this lesson before continuing. For more information on this and other topics, please consult the Omega help file or press F1 in Composer.